Hello friends, today I am here to share some points about India and maybe these are some points that you might have missed or maybe you don't even know about them, maybe you are unaware about them. So let's start with a quote, a nation's culture resides in the heart and the soul of its people. As the quote says, India's culture also resides in the heart and the soul of the people. It actually does reside. Well, today is a very joyful day for India. Yes, you guessed it correct. It is Republic Day. I wish everyone a very, very, very happy Republic Day. Not each one of know what was happening in the year 1949 and the forthcoming years, right? Do you know? Well, let's time travel to understand what was happening in the year 1949. So, the time machine will help us hereby. Let's zoom in. Well, during that time, the Indian constitution was to be created by the constituent assembly. Many subcommittees were created in order to handle all the tasks with proper precision. One of these 22 assemblies was the drafting committee. Now, you might think that every group, every committee or every club must have a leader or a chairman, right? So, who was the drafting committee's chairman? Well, it was Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. The committee appointed him to write the constitution of India. He was busy thinking with his team that what is good for India and what is not good for India and what must be improved. The team formulated many laws and articles to achieve the goals such as equality, justice and democracy amongst people. Every one, that is all the eight members of the drafting committee and all the other committees were extremely busy working on the drafting and the other functionalities of the Indian constitution. The work of the development of the constitution was quite difficult. But the enthusiasm in all the members was enough to beat the difficulty. On 26th November 1949, the constitution was passed and approved. Whereas on 26th of January 1950, the constitution was, came, was coming into force. Hence, we can conclude that India took approximately three years to form the constitution. Now, that is what was happening in the year 1950. Let's come back to the present now. From that day on, Republic Day is celebrated with full joy and enthusiasm throughout India. In Republic Day celebration at Rajpath, the Republic Day Parade is held every year, which is a very big attraction. Many gallantry awards are also given to various brave and courageous citizens. On this auspicious day, we are proud of the nation and salute it. We got our constitution and our rights on this day. And hence, it is our duty to respect the nation and enjoy the rights and obey all the laws. Happy Republic Day once again. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.